Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to another teaching tip with me, Sally Cathcart, from The Curious Piano Teachers. So, today I'm talking about the dancing thumb, the importance of having thumbs that dance at the keyboard. I don't know whether you've ever come across students who have, let's call it thumpy thumbs, you know the sort of thing I mean? Here's a scale to demonstrate. where they play a scale and the way they get they pass their thumb under is to lift the wrist and then it thumps down again like that and again and of course there's, there's big problems with that because they're never going to get the fluency and actually the thumb movement isn't isn't in the wrist our thumb is an amazing thing really because not only can it go up and down but of course it can it can also go from side to side as well However, what we don't want to do is get them with heavy thumbs. Now, there is a danger that when they're learning to play the piano to begin with, they become very fixed in their position on the keyboard. And if all they do is go up and down a five finger position like this, then the thumb gets used to playing on its side as very flat and, um, and almost plays because the, it gets pushed down there rather than developing its own little life. So a dancing thumb should be encouraged from the beginning and instead of playing flat, actually encourage them to play on the tip of the thumb, just on the very edge of the nail here. And, and that way, the arm and the hand all come into better position and you can see that my arm and my wrist now stay absolutely as they should do. And then when you play a scale, and I'll do one with my left hand because you can see my thumb down and you can see it going down. With When you play a scale, the literally, literally the thumb dances under. And of course, eventually that leads to velocity and to a lovely scale that is played evenly and can be played fluently as well. So... As I pass my, as my dancing thumb, playing lightly here, um, is going under, actually the movement that I want is coming from my arm. So my arms are responsible for the horizontal movement, but it's my fingers actually that do the vertical. And that's really important to remember, because I want to keep, another point here, I want to keep my little finger alignment. So if you put your arms down like this, yeah, there we go, you can see it there, the natural alignment of the arm is straight down from the elbow through to the little finger. So now if you put your arms back on the piano, that's where the alignment should be, down to the little finger. If you find you've put yourself back on the piano and you've aligned towards your thumb, then just be aware of the tension that suddenly occurs. You've got tension around here, you've got tension in your arms, and that's all because you're going towards that thumb alignment. No, the alignment, just shake it out, the alignment should be down your little finger. That is the natural alignment of the arm and of the hand. So to keep that thumb dancing, we have to keep our arm aligned down that little finger. And again, my fingers are not sitting in that five finger position. They are just naturally following on. I'm not stretching, I'm just following into what I call neutral. We go so a couple of couple of uh, examples i was working with a student the other day and we were doing a lovely arrangement that we got in the curious piano teachers from uh, the, the lovely pam wedgwood of she's done a christmas cracker which is a medley and one of them is good king Wences, and we've got this yeah and that's great for developing the dancing thumb look because it's having to move So that sort of the boogie belly slide is super for dancing thumb on the tip, just lightly moving. It's almost impossible to do it if you're down here. Um, another piece, happens to be in the same key, is a little scherzo by Haydn, one of my favourite pieces I learnt when I was a child. Yeah. And that let that right hand it comes up there needs to that thumb needs to be lovely and light so that it can follow and then here quite a lot of movement you 
going to pass over and then the thumb dances down to there. So the dancing thumb, maybe have a think about your own thumbs movements at the piano, see if your thumbs dance and maybe see if you can help your students to develop more of that dancing light, lovely thumb because that will give them greater ease over the whole of the keyboard. Thanks for watching all of you that are there. It's great to see some people there. Hello there. Thanks for watching. Happy teaching. As you can see, I'm all set up. Ed the Elephant is there. I'm about to do an afternoon's teaching. So wherever you are, love your teaching. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.